Hey guys, King of Charmaz here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you the most powerful ABB team for Go Battle Weekend. This team ranks at top number five, so it's the number five strongest team. I forgot who the heck made this team many moons ago, but I'm basically just using a modified version of it to where the Alola Marowak is going to be a shadow. So this is Azu play rough hydro pump you want hydro pump for bastion you also want it for g fisk you need it for bastion you're gonna see a lot of bastion in go battle day so i'm i mean go battle weekend it's gonna take me a lot to get used to that but for go battle weekend you need hydro pump because you need to be able to nuke through and destroy those g fists as well as those bastions like i mentioned shadow shadow awak is incredibly powerful it's able shadow bone damage with the shadow yeah, Shadow Bone damage with the... It, well, it's funny because, you know, it's Shadow, Shadow Bone, so double Shadow... Yeah, whatever. But Shadow... So, but Alola Marowak, Shadow Bone, Shadow Powered Up is really cool and really good. And this Tongue Twister is going to piss me off, so I'm going to move on from it. <laughs> and then you have Sableye as your save switch. You're going to have to be a little fancy in some scenarios here. And I'm going to show you how to take advantage of it in this Shoutcast. So, this is a sweet 5-0, by the way. I get a 5-0. This is my first time using the team, and I get a 5-0 with it right away. And it's actually really good and powerful, especially with all the amount of Bastiodons running around. And for the fact that Azu is still a really solid... And this team did rank at number 5. So it's the rating, I believe, was at like 560-something. Actually, I have it up right here. 548. So that's very high. And again, it's top 5. So very strong team. But before we get started, this is my therapist mental health tip for the day. And... Again, if you don't want to hear this tip, you can skip to the battles. Go to the timeline. I put it on for y'all because, you know, I work. I put in the work. So I put it on the timeline and then you can go ahead and skip through to straight to the battles. But if you do want to listen to it, this is for stress management. So my therapist, my therapist, the day is for stress management. You're going through 100 battles per day. So that's 200 battles and 205 if you decided to bake a set from before. So that's a lot of battles so if you're used to this is probably the best time for you to get your goals that's a lot of battles a lot of opportunity for you to gain some elo or if you don't if you haven't battled a lot like i have just learn and if you're mastering the subconscious power of battling which 99 percent of people don't have because most of you don't do cognitive not don't do cognitive behavioral therapy on yourself or have never done gone through subconscious behavioral therapy so that you can't master your subconscious to where stress your stress is at absolute zero and you have absolute zen when people say you're calm cool and collected but then after you're done with the battle you see someone take a deep breath on stage they're not calm cool and collected you have anxiety in there bro you are not that does not zen and stress isn't all bad at lower level stress prepare our bodies for state day challenges and boosting energy and improve cognitive performance and focusing attention so when stress is too extreme or lasts for too long that becomes problematic unhealthy levels of stress contribute to heart disease anxiety remember i told you about people not being completely like zen mode and like calm collected no if you're anxious you have anxiety going on bro you're not calm and collected depression rational discord drug use weakened immune systems and much more oftentimes stress hides beneath more prominent issues where amplifies uncomfortable emotions and triggers unwanted behaviors for example post-traumatic stress disorder i have post-traumatic stress disorder it's uncurable and the more stress you have when you're in ptsd the more your symptoms trigger and a lot of therapy or a lot of what I have done and through my own therapy is to master your own stress and to keep it low, keep yourself healthy so that your those symptoms don't surface and you're able to live a relatively normal life. Well, yeah, it, considering to you or to everybody else that has PTSD. So this is a free worksheet. You can go ahead. It also has alternate languages in Spanish and helps you with stress management. You can use this for Go Battle Weekend. And I definitely recommend it because it is an incredibly good tool. Again, this link will be in the description and I hope you do access this information because therapy is expensive and can cost hundreds of dollars per session. No, seriously, it is. In California, I think the highest I've ever seen was like 350 to $400 a session. So yeah, that's expensive. Anyways, before we get, again, without further ado, before we get started, this is a 5-0 with the best ABB team for the Go Battle League weekend, Open Great League. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here are the battles. Again, this is a Shadow AWAC instead of Alolan Marowak, to be exact. We got Shadow A9 versus Azumarill. Our opponent just switched right away, and they switch into Swamper. This is fine. What I normally do if they swap into a Swamper, you don't want to switch into Sableye right away because you're going to get outpaced. So what you want to do here is you want to try to take it to the one shield. I'm going to hit a play rough here. My opponent's likely going to shield. Then you switch to Sableye. 
you need that little bit of chip or shield advantage because like I mentioned, say a Swamp Earth will outpace Sableye. So now we can comfortably eat a Hydro Cannon here and then Sableye should be able to one Shadow Claw down or we can hit the foul, we can hit double foul play. So as you see here, we're going to be able to hit this foul play and this should kill unless they elect not to shield. I expect them not to shield because now they can farm me down, but because I'm using an XL Sableye, it's bulky enough to where it can possibly survive unless I get a Charmer thrown into me. So no respect, absolutely no respect, and this is why I like Shadow Alolan Marowak. As you see here, Shadow Awak, those fire spins hurt a lot. We know our opponent has that Alolan Ninetales. Shadow Bone Club damage is going to do a lot. We have to just farm down here. I'm waiting for him and expecting him to switch in, and here's a switch into the Shadow Ninetales, and all we have to do is just straight Bone Club. Bone Club does enough damage to where it's going to make our opponent be like, oh crap, this is really dangerous. So... All I'm going to do is double Bone Club here. I should break both shields and do some chip. And all I have to do is send in Azumarill. Azumarill is bulky enough, along with Go Battle Lag, to absolutely take your soul. <laughs> and all we're going to do here is all we all we have to do, we can eat two overheats. Azu, mine is a rank one. It's not XL. You don't need an XL Azu to be competitive. And I already have an XL non, I have a non, rank one non XL. So I like it because I win CMP. And at the same time, I don't feel like building XL Azu as of right now. <laughs> Unless there's an enormous advantage. All we have to do is farm down Shadow A9, I mean Shadow K9, and all we have to do is make this thing really wet and pump it full of water. And that Shadow Gramble goes down. And that's GG's. Yes, insanely wet. Like, let's see, what's let's see, Blastoise, that's probably the best one if you are if you're like shooting water at someone. What's a good shooting water anime? Mmm. Yu-Gi-Oh! By the way, cut, I, the, the creator, you guys forgot his name, but he died, and now we lost the lead. We have Stunfisk onto our Azu, so we're going to lose the lead. Condolences to the creator. I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! and the creator of the manga died. Maybe he really sad. I forgot his name. It's always all over the cards. Are, but call it, not just the cards. It's the manga as well, so GG's and rip. But as you see, our opponent likes to stay in here, and this is great. You want to get rid of this Stunfisk, and they switch in their own Sableye. So here's what's going to happen. They're going to have extra energy, but that's okay. I want them to either burn both of their shields or burn one shield. The reason being is because Shadow AWAC, even though it's weak to Stunfisk, Bone Club can still do a decent amount of damage. And as you see here, we should be able to take it to the one shield. If my opponent sends it, my opponent's going to elect to either one, let their Sableye go or they're going to shield here. And as you see, with the intervals being the same, I'm able to snipe down my opponent because they're going to try to shadow down fully. That was incredibly a 10,000 IQ play. So sniping down my opponent, if you're really confident your ability here, sniping down was the play there because my opponent, but that requires really precise timing. So if you're going to do it, make sure you are on point because if it lags, you die. That's basically what it is. We're going to fire this player off. Our opponent's going to shield this and they're going to fire a discharge. The thing is, Azu's bulky enough to where I can actually live one, and they need two to take me out. So two discharges are going to take me out. Like Zenitsu's Thunderclap and Flash. You know, I mean, Demon Slayer is an amazing anime, and I'm sad that literally the next season isn't coming out for the next couple of months. <laughs> As you see, double discharge goes through, we get flashed out, and then there's a Skarmory, and this is game. All we have to do is literally Bone Club, Fire Spin down, and then we, I mean, Shadow Bone, Bone, Fire Spin down, and then Bone Club for the victory, and I still have a sack for a Sableye for the W. Yes, we lost the lead, but as you see there, because we were absolutely able to finesse our opponent and make them lose all that energy, sniping down their Sableye, we win. You technically lose this. We got Legend on Legend action, and this is Nine Tails with Charm. You technically lose this matchup because what happens here is your opponent can elect to double shield. If they double shield, they'll run through Azu and go down two shields. Two shield Charm Strat. Our opponent doesn't do that. This time around, they eat one move. I don't shield the first one. This is likely a side shock based on how fast it was. You can live a side shock and you can elect a bubble down and then you'll still be able to get to another player off as you see here. Our opponent makes this sack into our, this catch into a stun fisk and I'm like, oh, okay. So you fancy, huh? I send in Sableye. You still need a little bit of chip anyways because the thing is two foul plays won't actually kill a stun fisk, a G fisk. So you have to be, you have to still do a little bit of chip. So this was okay. As you see here, we're going to fire the foul play, and then I should be able to just Shadow Claw down at this point. I'm going to shield first because at this point, our opponent's probably going to fire an Earthquake. I don't want to eat a 69420 Earthquake. I have Earthquakes all the time in California, man. I don't need to see another one, even though 
most of us in California literally confirm that an earthquake happened through Twitter because we're so used to earthquakes. Rockslide goes through. I make an excellent call here. We're going to be able to farm down here and have a bunch of energy with foul play, to double foul play. I should expect our opponent to send in the A9, and there it is! A9 is back, and then all we have to do is double foul play here. This is why I wanted a double foul play. At a minimum, one charm is going to go through. But because we have double back-to-back, -back, this foul play should kill thanks to this A9 being in the red. A9 goes down. We still have an Ozzy for a sack, and then we have a Trevenant. And I'm like, oh my god, can you get there? And yes, XL Sableye is ticket of Torah able to get to the second move. And this is actually really scary. So remember I told you about Ozzy having a sack? You could probably get what I'm going to do next. So, as you see here, I'm going to send an AWAC. I actually figured out that I probably didn't mean to do this. As you see, I sack like a madman, and I'm able to just absolutely roast this energy out of trevenant and then all i have to do is shadow boat actually i go for the bone club but i don't think i even needed to do that i could have shielded the seed bomb and the thing about it is is that because of the extra fire spit you see that trevenant's so weak if i didn't sack an extra fire spin would have went through and i would have just been able to bubble down with azu so either way i would have won i didn't actually need to sack off but you know practice makes perfect you know what i mean it's like what Ty Sa Sa thomas says his usual workout 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups a 10k run and boom you're jacked and you can one punch giant monsters to oblivion i don't know how the hell that works but you know i'm not a superhero we got Legend Legend action again, and we got Medicham versus Azu. You win this lead, but you expect your opponents to switch out, and they do have a Stun Fisk. So we're going to do the same exact thing here. If they switch a G-Fisk into you, you don't want to exactly switch in your back row because Sableye, you could try putting in Sableye, but what I like doing here is I actually like taking one shield. I'll fire a Hydro Pump first here just to break a shield, and then after that, I'm going to take it into Sableye. The reason why is because I want a little bit chip. Actually, no, I'm going to break a shield first and then I'm going to bait with play rough. The reason I'm doing this is because you could pop in Sableye. However, you have to watch out for Earthquake. Because our opponent knows we have Hydro Pump now, they're going to be more prone to actually shielding this play rough because they don't want to eat a move. So you're just essentially fainting your opponent and baiting their shield out. Play rough goes through. We, take the, we get the shield like we were originally planning. And then we're going to get... I'm guessing this is Earthquake. Even if it's an Earthquake, this is fine. Because Sableye will live this. And then what we want to do here is get a bunch of energy. And they send in Bastion. And I'm like, oh my god. That's good we didn't shield because we actually need that shield for Azu. Bastion can farm down here. I don't know if this is an XL or not. It looks like to be not. I actually can't tell what's an XL Sable of Bastion or not. Because I will never use Bastion in my entire life. Unless it's for content, there's no way in hell I will ever use Bastion. Again, we needed our shield for the Azu, so that was the right call. We should be able to get to a Hydro Pump here, thanks to us being able to bait that play rough out. And even though we should, as you say, I'm frantically tapping a Hydro Pump, we're going to make you really, really wet. We're going to summon the power of water. We're going to fire it into your face. And this water 69420 freaking pressurized leader of ninjutsu. Damn, I'm trying really hard to find out an anime reference right now. Actually, that's a pretty viable one. You know what I mean? Water, like Naruto. All we're going to do is send a little Marowak. And this is why you want the Shadow version. Because with one, with the Shadow version, one Shadow Bone will do a bazillion damage, as you see here. Shadow Bone goes through, and now you can actually farm down this meta champ. Even though we didn't get the debuff, I actually wanted it so that we didn't get the debuff. Because what can happen here, what's going to happen here, is that our opponent's going to psych us, that's fine. But we're going to be able to farm down here, and I should be able to Shadow Bone, and that's the dub. So oh, that's GG's. As you see, Shadow AWAC, I like it a lot. Most of the time, you're going to have AWAC against Charmers, or you're going to have it against something like a Walrein or something of that sort. So you're already in the danger of Cuffs of getting Earthquake anyway, so I like that extra Shadow damage with a Lolan Marowak. So this is the 5-0. This is the 5-0. We got Legend on Legend action, and it is RPS. Well, not exactly RPS, because I don't have freaking Ice Beam with my Azu. Our opponent switches out right away, which is not really the... And then I switch in a Sableye, and they switch in a DD, and they just insta-quit because 100 battles is a lot, and that's game. So, again, a 5-0 with... This is the best ABB team statistically. Again, it is like the... I believe it is top 5, so this is the fifth strongest team's ABB. I'm using Shadow AWAC instead of regular AWAC because I like that extra damage. Like I mentioned, you'll have the AWAC that lends Charmers or Wall Ring a lot. Plus, that, the new damage really matters in Hail Mary scenarios, so as you see here. But I hope y'all enjoyed the shoutcast. Again, this is a 5-0 with the most powerful AVB team, and I hope y'all enjoyed the battles.
and that's game. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Again, this is the strongest ABV team, Sweet 5-0, and it, I, li I like it a lot. So hopefully it does really well for you. And again, you have to be a little fancy when it comes to Azu, but hopefully this display in the shotcast does help you out with some of those matchups with the Zumarill. The good thing about this too is that all three of these mons have been out for a while. Shadow Alola Marowak is very recent. However, you can TM away frustration right now. So you can substitute the shadow one for a non-shadow one. It's just in some clutch scenarios or just for the overall damage, it might matter. But yes, you can use a regular, uh, re for those of you who are asking if a regular Marowak, yes, a little regular Marowak can work. But shadow, shadow damage, I definitely like it because of that ability to do more damage. And you still will relatively die to an earthquake, etc. You will still get farmed out by Bastiodon anyways if you use regular little Marowak versus shadow. So yes, the regular one works. But the good thing is all three of these wands should be ex I wouldn't say accessible because Purified Sableye is not really that accessible, especially since I'm using an XL. If you don't have the XL, a regular Purified one will work to the best of your ability. So yes, you hopefully you do have these three components. And if you do, it's awesome. And this team does really well. Hopefully y'all are enjoying. Make sure y'all pace yourself for Go Battle League weekend. For Go Battle weekend. I can do 100 battles straight with bathroom breaks and it won't affect my side just because I'm a mental health professional. I'm pretty dang good about managing my own. But yes, if you do need to help, please manage that stress management tip at the beginning. My therapist mental health tip of the day. Without further ado, I hope you guys do great on your Go Battle League week. And hopefully you minimally lag here. Because as you see on the shoutcast, I do lag. And there's a bunch of things wrong still with Go Battle League. But there without further but despite all of that, good luck on your Go Battle League sets. And I will see y'all on the next video. Yeah. See